there, it's John, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going over the new 1.20 Trails and Tales update and what we're getting. It's about as exciting as finding copper ore on a strip mining expedition. Mojang has cooked up some really cool stuff for this update. Well, they cooked something up at least. We're talking about storytelling and world building like never before. It's so exciting that even Henry wants to check it out. Henry? H Henry? I, I guess I just want to check it out. <laughs> so what do we got here? First up is all the new bamboo wood blocks. Just when you thought you've seen every type of wood, bamboo, you got yourself some bamboo wood. It's not just one block. We've got doors and stairs and trap doors and planks, all from a friendly neighborhood bamboo dealer. We get bamboo things for the new update. That's fantastic. You might have heard of chisel bookshelves, but have you heard of bamboo mosaic? There, there, there it is. It looks like parquet floors. And what's that? A flat raft? Now you can float down in a rickety raft made of once useless material. Y yay. Well, those new blocks, do you smell the creativity in the air? No, I just, I just smell, smell the pork chops I'm making cooking. I think that, that's what, what that smell is. But now we do have uh, these chisel bookshelves. And the chisel bookshelves allow you to actually store books in them uh, up to six. And each one leaves a different redstone signal. Leaves up to a redstone signal. And the book colors are pretty standard. It just goes that same color pattern over and over and over again. I feel like they should randomize it. It might look a little more natural, but nonetheless, there you go. Now you can store books and create yourself a redstone signal and create yourself a trap door or something. I don't know. And speaking of secrets, now we have suspicious sand and suspicious gravel. Now, just like archaeologists, you find the suspicious sand near trails near the desert temples. If you take your handy dandy brush, you can brush it and you can find things in it. M maybe. Now they can be archaeologists in the Trails and Tales update. Say goodbye to the mindless mining and hello to meticulous brushing. Yes, no nothing more enjoyable than brushing away sand by the broom until you find stuff. You can find things like these little pottery shards as you excavate the, uh, the suspicious sand and the suspicious gravel. And you can make yourself a cool pot like this one here. It does absolutely nothing. You can't put stuff in it. You can just kind of look at it because it's a pot. We can make ourselves these cool pottery shards. And this one has a wolf on it. Can we access it? Can we put more things in it? No, it just looks cool. They're pretty decorative. They look kind of cool. You need four of the same to make one cool looking pot. But again, you can't put stuff inside of them. They're just for decoration. As we're exploring, we see these cool dudes. Say hello to the newest resident in the desert biome, our buddy, the camel. These aren't just any ordinary camels. Minecraft camels have a secret trick up their sleeve. Check this out. Camels have a really cool horizontal dash. Perfect for when you have to cross a ravine in a hurry. No more, I fell into a ravine excuses. And they do lay down. They look kind of cute. I, I like the camels. Great addition, Mojang. And get this, camels have room for two. Now you can roam the desert with your best Minecraft homie. These little amphibious athletes are capable of some of the most serious vertical action. Perfect for those times when you need to jump over something like creeper. They, yeah, they, they, they jump real high. But wait, there's more. These little guys can hop in and out of boats. They use them as launch pads for their death-defying leaps. Yeah, they jump, they jump real, they just jump real high. That, that's just what, what I'm getting at. Look at that guy go. <laughs> So we got camels, frogs, and a whole lot of excitement. Can't wait to see what's out there in the Minecraft wilderness. Just watch out for the ravines and creepers, okay? And now the mob vote voted in this guy. This is our very own ancient. He is a sniffer. Let's dig into this because sniffers are all, all about the dig in life. Now, they aren't just old mob. You won't find them wandering around aimlessly. Nope. These guys exist and need a bit of helping hand to join into the overworld. Sniffers kind of remind me of... Uh, of the Star Wars Bantha. Big, slow creatures that you kind of got to guide them places. Whoa, and check this out. It's not just mobs and blocks. We've got a brand new biome, and it's a beautiful creeper explosion in a cherry blossom field. Oops. Now let's talk about a feature that's all about style and no substance. That's right, guys. Armor trim. Yes, my friends, it's time for a fashion statement in the blocky world of Minecraft. With a Trails and Tales update, you can customize your armor with different trims and give it a personal touch but remember my friend style comes with a price these armor trims aren't cheap you'll have to scour every inch of minecraft world to find the materials be prepared to venture into the nether confront some endermen or dive into the ocean but hey 
Who said looking good was easy? Once you've got your hands on these materials, you can add them to the armor using a smithing table. This is where the magic happens. And by magic, I mean purely aesthetic alterations. But remember, at the end of the day, it's your Minecraft world. Whether you prefer looking good or being powerful, the choice is yours. You can always go modded over this vanilla world. And there is even more to discover in this amazing update. I mean, come on. Have you seen these hanging signs? I mean, I have like 10 years ago in a mod. <laughs> I think it's in like 20 mods at this point. Or maybe these bundles. Oh, that's right. They had these before and took them away from us. And now they bring them back. It's like Christmas with re-gifting from your grandma. Y yay. Well, it seems like a whole lot. But it really isn't. This is what we're getting. Some cherry blocks. Forgot to talk about those. Some new music discs. And some new frog lights. There's there's that. A couple flowers. I forgot to mention the torch flower seed. That's that. And you get a torch flower. And what do you get from a torch flower? You lanterns, you ask? Uh, mild lighting, you ask? Nay, you get orange dye. Oh, and there's the pitcher plant from the ancient seed that the sniffer finds for you. Do you get some cool food out of that? No. Do you get some cool lighting effects maybe? Some glowing ground? Nah. You get cyan dye. That's right. You get these really cool flowers and you can get some colorful stuff out of them. Neat. Well, that's all we've got today or for this year for that matter. Thanks, Mojang. And remember, Minecraft 1.20 Tales and trails, trails and tales. I always get that wrong. I don't know why. Seems like a tongue twister. It's dropping in the next day or so. Make sure you check it out. It's a hoot. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was, I was just poking a little bit of fun at the new update. Uh, I know, I do love it. There is a lot of great things on here. I do have a few gripes, obviously, as you can tell based on this video of uh, satire. But uh, nonetheless, I still love the game and I do love the update. Uh, I just wish there were more. <laughs> as we always do right so yeah this is uh this has been the minecraft 1.20 trails and tales update so hit like if you liked and follow along by hitting that subscribe button and clicking that little bell to follow along for my future videos we'll be uploading weekly as well as daily shorts again hope you enjoyed and until the next one see ya